Hello, and welcome to Seek University. Today I will demonstrate how to use Seek Workbench for batch analytics, specifically for online batch quality prediction. To begin, I will click on the Journal tab. Here I have documented the procedure for creating and deploying an online batch quality prediction model. I will go through these steps to show how a Seek user can build a similar analysis in their own system. The four main steps I will do are organize the data, apply the process knowledge subject matter expertise, create an offline model using training and test batches, and finally, apply the model to a running batch to see real-time prediction of quality. Now I'll we'll start with the organize data step. By clicking the first link in the journal, Seek shows a range of batches and some critical processes. Next, I will filter the batches that I want to see. In this case, I want those batches running the green product represented by the blue bars along the top. Those blue bars are called capsules individually and a condition as a whole set. Capsules and conditions are used to represent batches. They show the time period of interest and contain batch properties like batch ID and product. I want to apply another filter and extract only the processing phases within the batches, represented as shorter capsules contained within the parent batch capsules. Now I'll zoom to a view of all the batches I will use for the training period of my model. This is the chain view in Seek. I took the processed phase capsules and stacked them side by side so I can get a sense of the data. Displayed here are all the processing tags during the batch timeframes. Lastly, I will add the quality data to the display. At the bottom of the display range, the critical quality parameter, yield in this case, is displayed for each batch. This value was gathered from lab samples some time after the batch is finished. Displaying an online modeled value for yield would be a significant optimization. To that end, next I will apply my process knowledge to this scenario. I have three key process signals that an engineer would intuitively know contribute to overall quality based upon their knowledge of the process. So acting as a process engineer, I know that the temperature, shown in orange, and this concentration, shown in green, cannot exceed a maximum threshold or else an adverse reaction happens in the batch and causes yield degradation. The vessel level, shown in purple, also needs to be within a range of specific values. As such, I will use a standard deviation for the level and maximum values for the temperature and concentration as my model inputs. Next, I will move down to this link in my journal and add the maximum temperature values, maximum concentration values, and standard deviation for the levels to the display pane. The tool in Seek that I use to create these aggregations is called Signal from Condition. The results are displayed in the three signals at the bottom of the display range. When I click the edit icon to the left of the max concentration signal, you can see the relevant information in the UI panel used to create this signal based upon the raw concentration signal. Next, I will create a model for the yield, shown in blue, based on the three inputs shown below. I will use Seek's prediction tool to create the model. The result is displayed as the bold dotted yellow line in the middle of the display. I'll open the edit window for the model and we can see the parameters in the left pane. The output is yield, based on the three inputs, max temperature, max concentration, and standard deviation for level over this training time frame. I am using an ordinary least squares regression over these batches, which we can see represented by blue capsules at the top of the display pane. Below, the prediction tool displays the coefficients and the statistics for the model, including the R-squared value, which is useful for determining baseline model goodness. Next, I will clean up the display and apply this model to some training data. I will put all the signals in the same lane and zoom in on the second lane to show the actual and predicted values of yield. On the right-hand side, you can see, as indicated with cursors, the actual and predicted output of the yield. I can see the prediction is within 3%, so I think this is a good enough model to deploy in an online batch environment. I will go to the present time in the display pane by clicking my last step. I can see a batch that is running in real time. At the top right of the display, I have a capsule that looks different. It is outlined to show that it is still in progress, while the completed batches show up as solid capsules. I will now modify my online monitor range by clicking the edit icon to the left of this condition. I will remove the previous range and simply draw a time range that includes the currently running batch. After I click add and execute, what shows up in my display is the online calculated value for yield as the batch is progressing. This value is updating in real time at the rate set in my auto update interval, every 5 seconds in this case. Here I can drop a cursor so we can see the modeled yield update continuously. This was an example of batch analytics and implementing online batch prediction of quality using Seek Workbench. Thank you.